Okay, so if you're anything like me, the first time I saw Regex, I was like, what? Because, I mean, what does that mean? So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. So regular expressions is essentially just a very, very powerful search tool. You can use it for replacing stuff, to extract stuff. And it's really important to learn regex if you want to pass data. You want to validate user input. That's essentially what we're going to be taking a look at today. So the very first thing I'm going to be searching for is just basically a word. And I have decided to search for the word greenwashing. You can see that I have six matches and I'm matching all these. Now I'm not matching the one with a big G. There's a few flags you can include to ignore case sensitive. So you can turn this one off. See, now it actually matches everything. Okay. Another flag is the global flag, because let's say you only wanted to find one, the first one, then you turn off the global flag. Then you can see finds the first one now it finds all of them and you can actually see the f expression up here so you would do a slash the expression a slash and then g for global i for case insensitive and there's a few other flags here multi-line i would stay away from these three sometimes they work sometimes they don't these uh always work so because Regular expressions is implemented in a lot of programming languages and a lot of tools. It's all different how much of regular expressions that, that has been implemented. So you got to test around. Okay, okay, so this isn't really much more different from a normal search tool, but it gets way cooler. We can actually paste in another expression and you can see that it matches both greenwashing and whitewashing. And the way I'm doing that is I'm putting it in a group this is a group and then I'm saying that either this word or this word can be in front of washing and that makes me match both green washing and white washing. You could also see another way another cool way of making groups is to extract data and you can actually see that group one has the word green in it and group two have the word white in it. So you could use that for some kind of program. Okay, so let's extract all data in between quotes. The way I'm gonna do that is by putting a dot which matches every single character one time. So you can see it's individually selecting every single letter. Then I put a plus which makes the selection repeat itself. So it selects all this as one selection and it does per line because of the multi line is turned off. The next thing I want to say is I want to match everything in quotes. So I want to say it starts with a quote, any character of any length, stop quotes. But you can see down here worked fine. But up here where I have two quotes on the same line, it didn't really work. And that's because this plus is very greedy and we can actually turn the greedy option off by using a question mark and that only selects the text in the quotes. If we want to extract this information, because you can see under the match there's no data. Well, if you remember from before, if you encapsulate an expression in a group, then we can extract the information out. So I'm just going to take everything that's within the quotes, put it in a group. And now you can see the word is extracted. Okay, so I hope you're starting to see that regular expressions can be really powerful. Let's take a look at a phone number. By making a backslash and a D, we match a digit. We could also have used this one. That would do the same, but it would match everything, also words. So we're just going to be matching a digit. By the way, if you just want to match words and not digit, we use W. And if you use uppercase, you're essentially just inverting the selection. We're going to be using a lowercase d. We could use the plus, which selects any digit at any length. And then just, we can see groups these three into groups because these separates them. We can also type a 10 here and that will select any number that is 10 digits long. You can see that this is not 
10 digits long, now it is. So essentially it selects, if it's like that, it stops the selection right at the point of the first 10 digits. You can also say that it should be in between 3 and 10 digits if it becomes under 3 digits, it doesn't select it anymore. Okay, so there's also another one I would like to show you, and that is selecting spaces. We can do a space up here, and that will essentially work the same. But it is way more safe to use a backslash S, which selects spaces. So you can see space, space. You can see, again, two different groups. I can put this one on. It then combines those two. And remember, if I put them in a group, then we can actually extract information, but it's just empty spaces. So I want to show you a few examples, because I think the best way of learning regex is to try it. Okay, so the first example we're going to be taking a look at is checking emails. So we select any character of any length, then an at symbol, any character of any length. Hey, we have a dot, but that's also our expression. So we can actually escape these special characters by just doing a backslash. Dot, any character of any length, and that selects everything. Now, if we want to extract that, this out, we can extract individual components or everything. You can see we extract out the email, and this is obviously not an email, so it's not getting checked. This is not an email, it's not getting checked. We could say that we want this. We can put groups in groups, by the way, but you can see that we get a .NET. So now you can see we have we are extracting the individual components, so the username, the domain. Okay, so the next thing is a basic address, how to extract uh, Let's say you just had this address and you have to extract out the information, so the number and the road name. We take a group and we take any digit of any length. Then we say space of any length, and we could actually put this in here. That would make more sense. So we would say space of any length because there can be three spaces. There can be one space in here. It doesn't matter. And then we take any character of any length. We get both the road number and the road. But the best way to learn regex is to try it yourself. So I've included a few examples in the description. Goodbye and hopefully see you in the next one.